This happy pup is Sonia. You can't tell from her friendly demeanor that she was recently rescued from a cruel situation. Obviously, somebody just chained her up. How she survived for the period of time that she was chained up, only God knows. A hiker found Sonia in a remote wooded area, chained up to a tree, and contacted the authorities. They believe Sonia was tied up for about a month. Sonia's story is just one of several told about chained dogs. In fact, about 40% of the Monmouth County SPCA's cruelty cases involve dogs left outside on a chain. We had four dogs just recently that were found dead chained to the dog houses because the owners just basically forgot about them. Sonia survived being chained up, but not all dogs end up being so lucky. That's why these SPCA volunteers decided to chain themselves to dog houses in the summer heat. This is what dogs live like, you know, 24-7 dogs live on chains. You know, what I have going for me is I know that at the end of the day I'm getting off of this chain. Most of these dogs never get off chains. Volunteers say that often owners think a dog house and some water is enough comfort for chained dogs. Officer Amato disagrees. If there was a bowl of water out here for half of an hour, less than that, it's going to feel just like this roof. It's, gonna be, it's like drinking boiling water. Chain dogs are not just exposed to extreme weather, but also face other dangers. You're leaving it vulnerable to other animals. Another dog, say, gets on your property that's vicious. Your dog's chained. It can't even defend itself properly. Officer Amato says he has found dogs with bruised necks from the chains, often malnourished, and even found some dogs who accidentally strangled themselves. This issue should not just be a concern to animal lovers, but society in general, as chaining can threaten public safety. It's not only a risk to the dog who's living on the chain, but it's a risk to people in the community. Chain dogs sometimes equal aggressive dogs. They get bored, they get frustrated, and all of a sudden, um, you know, they can't help uh, sometimes, you know, becoming not angry, but, you know, very hostile and it's not the dog's fault it's just that they're so not used to attention they don't know how to handle it according to a group called dogs deserve better from 2003 until march 2008 at least 200 children were killed or seriously injured by chained dogs now organizations are lobbying for laws to protect these neglected dogs this should be a national law prohibiting chaining and tethering there's absolutely no reason to do it right now there's no national law banning the chaining or tethering of dogs but several states and municipalities across the nation want this form of cruelty to stop and are pushing forward to break the chains. California, Texas, and Maryland all have banned the chaining of dogs. States like New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Maine, New York, Nevada, North Carolina, Rhode Island, and South Carolina are all working to pass legislation. And right now, over 110 cities and counties have their own laws against tethering dogs. If I was chained up here all day and all night, tonight I'm not going to be a happy camper. Well, dogs are the same way. Volunteers who chain themselves say they can sympathize with chain dogs and want all outdoor prisoners to be in a loving home. Dogs are very forgiving animals. Mm -hmm. They are truly man's best friend. The Monmouth County SBCA hopes their protest of chain dogs will break this dangerous and cruel chain reaction. For Pet Pulse on Zoo 2 TV, I'm Simon Chowdhury.